so you you get this vote in the House. I'm I'm no expert here, Senator. You know, I don't work at the Capitol, but uh, I think that means it's going to your place. I think that means it's going to the Senate for a vote. If you had asked me three days ago, I would have said this doesn't stand a chance of going anywhere. The Senate Republicans are going to stand firm. This is an obvious uh, this is an obvious issue. And yet after that vote in the House, I have to wonder, is this thing actually going to make it out of the Senate? Well, it's not clear if it's going to get floor time. And and we've got just a couple of weeks left before the August recess when Democrats want to get home and campaign. They've got a bunch of Democrats on the ballot. Um, and there's a lot of other bad things Democrats are trying to do. So they've got a lot of legislation they're trying to ram through, including their, their last gasp at, at Build Back Broke. And so there's a limited number of days of floor time. Uh, that being said, Schumer said this week he intends to take this up for a vote which will burn several days of floor time. Uh, that was the speech where he also described me as unhinged uh, for cloakroom. <laughs> and uh, if it comes up, to move to proceed to the bill will take 60 votes. That's the standard rule in the Senate. Uh, it presumably will get all 50 Democrats. So the question is, does it get 10 Republicans? It got, what was it, 45 Republicans in the House? 47, I think. 47. At, at least one of my colleagues has told reporters publicly intends to vote yes. That's Tom Tillis from North Carolina, who's told reporters he's going to be a yes. Um, I could tell you we had a discussion today in the Senate Republican Conference at lunch uh, where there were multiple Republicans uh, who, if they didn't say yes, they sure were showing a lot of leg to, to, to use a, a, a euphemism. I don't know. Um, th this ought to wow. be this ought to be a really easy vote, number one, because it's pure, empty political messaging. The Supreme Court said they're not going to overturn a burger fail. So the entire reason Democrats are having this vote uh, is, is for political messaging and really to distract from every other aspect of their agenda that's a train wreck, which is inflation and crime and immigration and everything else. But secondly, look, my views on the substance, I believe marriage is the union of one man and one woman. And, and that's what I have always believed. It's what I believe now. There are people who disagree with me. And the people who disagree with me are entitled to their views and they're entitled to participate in the democratic process. And they're entitled to prevail in the democratic process if their arguments carry a majority vote. It is interesting. I hope it's not the case that a bunch of Republicans who used to say that quite emphatically um, no longer believe that. But, but to be honest, I don't know, Michael. 